Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, we're going to take you into the uh, Q family equalizers. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about them, uh, get you guys a little bit more familiar on which plugins should be used where, why they should be used uh, where, and, 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 sort of, and, uh, and things like this. So, uh, in my previous video, I showed you guys the Q1. Uh, right now, I'm going to open the Q2. We're going to open it up. It's going to look a little something like this. Sorry guys, I got a cough, but I'm just trying not let it. Uh, I'm trying not to let it out. But uh, basically, this is the Q2. Uh, like I said last in the last video, uh, as soon as you see a number beside the Q, it's usually how many uh, how many bands it has. This one has two so that you can sweep around the frequency spectrum with. It gives you a full uh, frequency spectrum, 18 uh, dB uh, high, 18 dB low. Um, it's a quite uh, great. Uh, it's quite a great uh, equalizer. I'll put on the right and put on the left. Uh, and it works the same way as any equalizers, guys. Uh, it just it will give you a different effect and it'll clean up the vocal uh, uh, a different way, the Q way, uh, basically is what we say. Uh, so this is just the difference between this and the Q1 is that basically this one has two bands. I usually use it if I, if I just need to do uh, minor touch-ups. But this is basically it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, please subscribe.